All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am in the house with something very interesting. I got the CKF Custom Knife Factory Bob Tertzwola Eagle Rock right over here, and I'm gonna check out the look, the sound, and the feel of this bad boy. And you also, guys, can check out fablades.com and fablades on Instagram, see what's going on there. Maybe there's something you might be interested in. Uh, to buy. So look at this, uh, Bob Terzuola, of course, the father of the tactical folder. Uh, this guy comes uh, with uh, spare hardware, padded velvety pouch uh, uh, with some Velcro, of course, the classic uh, uh, red uh, microfiber cloth. Uh, forgot to turn on the light. Uh, classic uh, CKF style. And you get this big boy, yes, right there. Um, Look at this, not a small one. Uh, definitely we get uh, 11 centimeters uh, long cutting edge and the handle is gonna be like 14 centimeters. So pretty much we are in the 25 centimeters uh, range and uh, almost 10 inches long. So not uh, a small knife. And uh, for example, like check this out, this is ZT04. 452 Sinkovich design, which is smaller than that. This is a Quantum Orsus line from Shikogorov. Definitely smaller than that. A couple of uh, uh, more iconic, maybe, and more popular knives are the small Sebenza 21 and large Sebenza 21 from Chris Reeve Knives. And look at the size of this beast. It's just... Uh, uh, big, yeah, and just another couple here because I like this duck a lot and uh, I like this mini cannabis a lot just to show you again some other titanium frame lock uh, with uh, some zirk accent but anyways, just to show you that this guy, yeah, it's not a small one uh, whatsoever it is uh, interesting um, because uh, you can own like something designed by Bob uh, in a CKF package. So we got uh, a liner lock right over here, which has uh, carbon fiber scales with some red uh, infused accents into the uh, carbon fiber, both sides. So it just pops a little bit, see, not too much. You just get close and you see that red. All right. So the carbon fiber is, uh, is pretty good. I don't see any voids. You see, it's just nicely done. Uh, if you check the how this is flush with the titanium bolster, this side is perfect. On this side is also perfect. There's just a little bit of, you see, that's just a little bit. So you can kind of feel it with your fingernail. So not just perfect uh, fit and finish, I would say, but still very well made. Uh, look at the micro milling going on on the bolster, which has been stonewashed. Uh, this uh, Zirkutai um, pivot collar, it's pretty cool indeed. Just a little accent that picks up the colors on the scale. You get a full size titanium backspacer, which is uh, pretty flush, I would say, except for this point, you see? Right at the end, it just shows you that this side over here is just not as flush as the right side. Blade looks centered and uh, there's some uh, uh, controversy about the uh, blade play, which it, it is playing, yes, but uh, also other knives, they show this behavior. So uh, as long as you don't play that, I think you're gonna be fine. The issues, they might arise when you use the thumb disc to deploy because the thumb disc you're gonna have to press the blade inwards so this might be affecting you see like this blade just rubbing up against the scale so i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna use the flipper because i'm a little bit concerned about that but it shouldn't be an issue if you're using this if you're collecting this and if you want to preserve it pristine yeah in my bother you and I would understand. So beside that and a little bit of, uh, you know, not super flush scales right over here, the handle is pretty nice. I mean, this is a, a big boy um, for sure. It has some internal chamfering. There is internal skeletonization, which is done really well on the show side as, uh, as especially because it just goes through, it just fully skeletonized, not so much the uh, lock side, 
because of course it's a liner lock, so usually they don't even mill that, but not the lock bar, but the other side, and if you can see right there, it's milled, not as uh, deep, of course, as the show side, but still, uh, it's nice for weight reduction, of course, you get a stainless steel lock face insert nicely hidden and screwed in from the outside, you may be seeing that, um, you have a little bit of lock bar access where there's some jimping going on right there. Uh, chamfered uh, uh, access, so, you know, just angle your thumb and it works pretty well. So nothing wrong with that. Stainless steel lock facings are also nice. I really like this part over here, you see. Very well done. Nice uh, uh, right before the uh, sharpening coil. Um, you get a CKF logo going on over here and the Terzuola logo on the... Uh, of course on the blade and on the pocket clip which I'm really not a fan of this is like honestly too loud for me I really like uh, subtle you know details not billboarding this uh, much and probably yeah also like that I, I really am not a fan of uh, the writings on the blade but just it's all right I mean it's not gonna be affecting anyways the use it's just like an aesthetic part but you know I like to uh, appreciate the look of a knife as well as the sound and the feel. I mean, it's just just my thing. So I just like to do that. And um, of course, I, I like to use my knives, but some are just to collect. Some are just like to like show pieces. Like some say queens, and I, I don't see anything wrong with that. If you want a, a beater, you use a beater. If you want to use like a safe queen, you use it. If you don't, you don't. It's fine. To each its own, you know. Um, so this guy is. It's very well made. It looks it looks beautiful, but it's not perfect. So the fit and finish is not as I was expected because uh, usually Custom Knife Factory has a pretty good uh, fit and finish. In this case, I see there is uh, something that can be improved. Uh, the flipper tab is very good. It works very well. Unobtrusive. It doesn't stick out. So it works perfectly uh, fine. So nice jimping right over there. And uh, it really works well. Uh, this guy, of course, you can see right over here, it's sporting MRBS, so multi-row bearing system uh, um, in the under the hood, uh, in the pivot to deploy this blade in a nice way, which is a pretty big blade. Uh, the lock side, it shows like a hidden clip, uh, uh, hidden screw pocket clip, which is fantastically designed, works beautifully. Look at the angles in and out yeah this is nice in the pocket it's just gonna show that you have a big boy <laughs> you've got an eagle rock in your pocket and uh it's yeah it's just i'm not just a fan of that um lanyard hole going through the scales and through the back spacer also works well uh blade is safely recessed and protected by this back spacer it's perfectly centered nicely done um you have a pretty, I would say, amazing uh, ground on this blade. It's complex. Uh, it's unusual. You get like a, a lot of details going on in this blade. Uh, starting from the jimping right over here, which is absolutely working. I mean, it's just there's some nice bite to it in this thumb ramp right over here. You get a thumb disc, which you can swap. You can easily do that and change and put maybe like a matching Timascus one, whatever. Uh, this guy goes down. There's a little bit of harpoon swedged up to the tip uh, right over here and maybe 40% belly straight edge up to the ch uh, sharpening choil and you get uh, uh, compound grind over here finer tip blade and you see the flats they just uh, are recessed down here too uh, to have a little bit thicker behind the edge uh, stock right over here and a beautiful fuller uh, of course on both sides so uh, you get uh, S90V steel of course this is numbered I believe there's uh, how many made I don't remember um, but uh, it's S90V, so it's, it's a pretty premium uh, steel. So, and also, I like this little touch here on the uh, lock side to match the show side. So, but of course, it's not milled, like, to, you don't need any room right there, so that's fine. Um, what else can we say about this fella? Well, let me check the weight, first of all, because uh, this guy is going to be over six ounces, um, which is uh, 6.6 .6 ounces. So it's not like a super lightweight in the pocket, but this is a beast of a knife, guys. Look at that. I mean, let me check. Uh, 
and is zero this. Uh, we get uh, 3.76 millimeters uh, for the stock thickness and 0 0.66 right behind the edge at this point and right over here you get yeah 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.5 so a little bit uh, uh, slimmer which is good I mean uh, it's a thick blade and it's a long blade so this is like ready for some action from some uh, a uh, heavier heavy duty task even if it's a folder of course uh, if you want to do like some crazy duty uh, heavy duty task you're gonna get a fixed uh, blade not a folder but still this has a feel of something really robust something that it's reliable that is what uh, translates through my hand gets to my brain if uh, you know it's still working and uh, it just says, yeah, this is uh, something you can abuse. It's something you can just butt on it. It, it feels solid, guys. Uh, there's no other way around it. So it is. Uh, it has a feel of a working knife. And, uh, of course, like the stone wash finish on the blade, it's a testament for that. So you can use it and not be afraid of scratcher, uh, scratches or anything. And uh, you're going to be pretty happy. This guy, as I said, runs on... Uh, multi-row bearing system and this is the action just drop shots of course you can even deploy it like this and uh, this is the smooth and it yeah just right out of the box so pretty good action very smooth uh, indeed there is no play it's well put together just a little little like microscopic uh, uh, you know these little details but beside that is a big knife it's a solid uh, knife it looks good the blade is it's pretty interesting guys come on uh you might say yeah it's not for me i understand that but yeah we, we have to say that's a nice complex grind going on over here which overall looks uh good and it's gonna give you the chance to own a bob terzola knife for uh, like around 600 bucks so that is not uh, a cheap knife by any means but still gives you access to a Bob Terzuola design and this is the Eagle Rock. So there you have it guys. I really hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.